What is up today, 49ers faithful? Drew Kerr here, the host of 49ers Sports Talk. Today in episode four, I'm going to explain why I believe Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in the entire NFL. Please stay tuned as we kick off episode four of 49ers Sports Talk. Enjoy. All right, Faithful, welcome today. Uh, I want to begin this by saying thank you for being here. Thanks for watching my video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed any of my content that I've posted, or if you enjoy this one at the end, you can go ahead and make up your mind. Uh, like the video too, that helps. Uh, I wanted to start today. Uh, with a stat that I don't think that is talked about nearly enough with Christian McCaffrey. Uh, there's only been three players uh, in the history of the game to ever do this, to ever accomplish this feat. Um, and, and that is to, is the 1,000-1,000 club. Uh, receiving for 1,000 yards and rushing for 1,000 yards. Only three players in the history of the game have ever done it. Uh, the first player to ever do it was a 49er, as most of you probably know. Some of you may not. Uh, his name was Roger Craig. Uh, he was the very first player to do this. He did it in 1985, guys. Uh, long, long time ago. 1985 was a long time ago. And um, he, the Niners, unfortunately, didn't go to the Super Bowl that year. Uh, they did the previous year and a couple years after that. Um, but he did accomplish that feat in 1985. So um, it took an additional uh, five years, I'm sorry, 15 years for another player to do that. And that player was Marshall Falk. And he did that in 1999. And then it took an additional 20 years for another player to do that. And that was Christian McCaffrey in 2019. And the reason I'm bringing this up to you is the simple fact that no player has ever been able to duplicate this. No player has ever been able to do this twice. Marshall Falk almost did it in 2000. So there is a possibility that, that Christian McCaffrey this year, granted there's a lot of mouths to feed on this team. You have George Kittle, Ayuk, Debo, Juice, uh, the rookies, tight ends. So th there's a lot of people to get the, have to get the ball to. But the reason I bring this up is because I do think that Christian McCaffrey has a very good chance, a very good chance this season uh, to be the bell cow, to get a lion's share of the touches. If he stays healthy for 17 games and into the playoffs, I do think that he has a very good chance of doing this again and being the only player in history to do this twice. I do feel like his leadership on this team is very much like Michael Jordan. I, I think he is the Michael Jordan of this team. Ironically, he wears uh, the number 23. But I think Christian McCaffrey is uh, right now the best playmaker on the team. And that's saying a lot because Debo Samuel, huge playmaker, can do a lot, can do the same things as Christian McCaffrey even with, with the rushing and um, receiving. I, I don't think he can do it to the level that Christian McCaffrey does it, but he, he is just as good um, in a lot of ways. And, uh, you know, Kittle, he's going to get his touches and Ayuk too. So there's a lot of players um, just reiterating to, to get the ball to. But I think that McCaffrey's leadership in the locker room, off the field, and in every facet is a lot like Michael Jordan. And, um, you know, I don't think that he has the breakaway speed that Marshall Falk had. Uh, so he's a little bit more like Roger Craig, uh, but his leadership on this team um, just because there is no Joe Montana, there's no Steve Young. I think that Christian McCaffrey is that guy. All right, y'all. In this next segment, I'm gonna we're, we're going to watch McCaffrey's top plays of last year and just kind of talk about it, look at it, analyze it, uh, and, and just appreciate it um, in general. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump right into that. Garoppolo, first pass to Christian All right, we're not going to watch this whole thing. Oh, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea. Uh, as a I mean, you guys, most of you already well know. At some point, what, what Garoppolo tells us, he said, if he doesn't know the play, I'll just tell him what to do in the huddle. Why not? At Here's some point, I will skip ahead. Step. This was uh, McCaffrey's first, first game down. with the Niners. Oh, it's all on display early in this first and half. he was pretty much a force, but McCaffrey they wound up losing the, the game. Looking to throw it. Airs it out. Has Ayuk wide open. He's got it for the touchdown. 
Shanahan. I wish Shanahan would do more of that, more trickery. McCaffrey, the Not every game, but to from just what keep the dandy. defense on their toes. You never know when it's going to come. Anytime a running back is so deep, watch, he throws it. It's a lateral. So see how he, Garoppolo throws it backwards. That's the indication that it's a double pass. Defense bites, and he finds Brandon. Give it to McCaffrey right up the middle. McCaffrey inside the 10 is first and it's goal. like 12, 13 yards every time. It's crazy. Team has played pretty well. And they'll start it out on offense to McCaffrey. Big hole. McCaffrey sprinting away across the 40 and all the way up to midfield. And that's a good start. Christian McCaffrey first play right up to midfield in a gain of 25. Garoppolo pressure sees it. This one is McCaffrey. great. He's I mean, he just gets air, jumps up. It's a beautiful catch. Wow. Jimmy kind of overthrew it, but McCaffrey made a play on it. All day. McCaffrey just starts out on a little swing route, and then he just scramble drills. Runs right past the corner. Amazing. Tighten coverage and bring some pressure. McCaffrey right off the gut. He's got a seam. Now a sprint to the end zone. McCaffrey diving. Is he in? Was no, he in? Down I don't know. I can't one. remember if they showed the overhead on it. They must have. To complete Felt like he was in, but it didn't matter anyway. They do. And he is in for the touchdown. A passing touchdown. A receiving touchdown. A rushing touchdown. LaDainian Tomlinson, the last one to do that in 05. <laughs> Levi Just South. really impressive. They're going to send these guys and That's do a little crazy. next block with the tight end. Their stadium going is like, across the I don't know how they're going to prevent it in the future. There's too many Niner fans just, that live in L.A. Just McCaffrey to find a little space. For Tua Tungvaloa in Miami against Buffalo. For now, it's Garoppolo and the Niners offense to the 25. Swing it out. McCaffrey and people running everywhere. And McCaffrey's running All right, down I'm going to jump ahead here. For a gain of this is 11 minutes. So and I'm now just going to jump keep. ahead. He's got a blocker. He's headed for the end zone. And Christian McCaffrey has a 49er touchdown. Understanding the timing, and it's generally the timing with the right guard. And it's going to be Spencer Buford on this one. You've got to sell that you're going to be blocking inside. And McCaffrey, just such a natural. Part of the decision to step away what he did. These draw plays are, are so effective, too, if the passing game's going. I think the passing game is going to be much improved this year. Niners back on offense. Here comes Christian McCaffrey, a gaping hole. McCaffrey gallops free. This is where you wish he had breakaway speed because that was a touchdown. He blocked from Trent Williams, springs him for a 66-yard run. But he's just amazing anyway. Second and goal. Purdy scans, dances, and fires. That touchdown is definitely created by Brock Purdy. His pocket awareness, his agility in the pocket. McCaffrey just it had to catch it and walk in. Last week for Brock Purdy against Arizona, but it was his worst game he's played so far. And I think a lot of that was when he got pressure. He was. Sam in the fine motion on second and short. McCaffrey straight ahead. Yes, Inside the 12 yards, 12 yards, yards 11, 11 yards, 13 11. yards. Walking in. McCaffrey right up the you have to give credit to Mike McGlinchey on this play. He destroyed like three people on this play. Maybe two, but he definitely just annihilated Watch some people. Watch the distortion on this double team. What he does. Watch, that's the hole. He gets the... Oh, everybody's hearts breaking Johnson's right now. Hand off. This game. A long way to go. That's some good space. I can't wait till we play them again in Philly. I hope everybody's healthy. Both teams are healthy. I really want revenge. And this just personifies Christian McCaffrey. I mean, unreal. Unreal. That touchdown was sheer determination. He was not going to, to be denied. Christian McCaffrey has put the team on his back this drive. A little wham block outside in by George Kittle. And then this is just this is just rush after contact. This is just refusing to go down. Nothing pretty. 
It was Just very pretty. Through, jumping over guys. To make plays and you know, adding Chris McCaffrey kind of helped too. He really, he's, he's, a, he's a light in our locker room. He's funny. He engages with all the guys. He loves to talk to everybody. And then you just see his work ethic too. I mean, he's in there early, getting his body worked on, going over plays with coaches, getting his body worked on again, getting his body ready for practice. He just, he's a professional through and through, and you just got to love that out of him. All right, Faithful. Well, that's a wrap for episode four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back for episode five, and we'll see you next time on 49ers Sports Talk. Take care of yourself. Okay.